Hey everybody, for this week's Google Form, you're gonna to need to um, install a Chrome extension onto your browser. So <clears throat> I put the link in that first page of the Google Form and you're gonna to have to copy and paste it. And it's called Equasio, I think that's how you say it. So when you get here, yours is going to say, instead of remove from Chrome, yours is gonna say, say install. And once you install it, you should see a little, um, a little blue diamond up here that looks like this. And that's kind of like the key to let you know that you've got it installed on your Chrome browser. So once you have that, what you're gonna need to do is, um, there's a little, well, yeah, you're watching the video now. So um, type your name in, and then you'll start to see this little blue um, button, I guess, next to your answer. So when you click on that, that's what you're gonna need to click in order to put in some of these answers. And you can kind of see down here at the bottom, it'll pop up this little um, toolbar. And there's different ways that you can insert your answer. So let's say that you have um, radicals in your answer that you need to put in. And um, you can't really do that just by typing it in. There's no way to type in those. So you need this equation to type in radicals. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. And you can see that there's some of these different ways on the bottom here. So one of the ways that you can do it is just by handwriting recognition. So on the left side, like if you use your trackpad, let's say that your answer is um, radical three over two. So if you start typing in radical three over two, you can see over here that it is typing, it is changing this handwriting over here into a math um, expression. And once you have what you think is correct, you can click insert math. And it will insert that as one of your answers. Um, if it's not correct, you can hit edit math. Um, you can delete it. If it's not correct, um, you can go back to that handwriting recognition and start over again. Another one of the options is the speech input. And again, on the left hand side is where it will hear you speak. And over here is what you would see as the math output. So I'll just do the same thing here so you can kind of see. So in order to start it, you hit this. And when you're done, you would hit this again. So let's say that the answer is sine of theta equals radical three over two. Sine of theta equals radical three over two. So right now it doesn't have the correct thing, it forgot my radical. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna start over again. Sine of theta equals square root of two over three. So again, there's some bugs with it a little bit. So maybe the, um, the handwriting rec recognition would be better, um, but you can edit it over here. So for example, there are some formulas that you can do. So if you go up to this equation editor you go up here, you can see that you have the option to put in different kinds of equations. You've got superscripts and subscripts. And then you've got some different symbols here. And then things like square root. So, <clears throat> 
It's definitely going to be, and then you can favorite things. So like if you use something over and over again, you can favorite that. So anyway, that is um, how you're going to have to type in your answers for this next one. Um, and if you just even start typing things in, you can, you can see that you can do like square root of 2 over 3. So if even if you just start typing it in what you want to do, um, you can see that it will start typing that and then you can just hit insert math as well. So if you have questions, you can always ask any one of your teachers. We can always help you out. Um, good luck. <laughs>